All right, Michelle, again, just wanted to say thank you for coming out to the Academy for the last few days. Hope you enjoyed the sessions that we did. Uh, definitely, was <laughs> I know it was a lot of information to take in, but again, hopefully you got a lot out of it and you got some good stuff to work on. So what I wanted to do here is just send you your film uh, just so you can have a good little visual as to what we focused on for the last few days. So I'm going to send you some of the befores with the afters with a couple of the drills that we focused on right off the bat. So let's just go ahead here, check it out with the full swing see what's going on again like I told you in the beginning posture and everything wise look great there so the big thing we needed to get the sensations for from that point there was to get the feeling as you're taking the club back we could see here a little bit handsy with the initial motion going back so really getting that sensation of the shoulders initiating that swing as opposed to the hands and arms doing it all as you go back you can see the difference here is if I use Charles Howell here is a good model for you you can see as he initiates that back swing how the shoulders and everything there are doing the work as opposed to the hands and the arms doing everything there but really getting that sensation of more of a rocking motion with the shoulders starting that swing again getting that use it doing that ball drill is going to be very good sticking that ball in between your arms because it's going to keep your arms and hands very passive and give you the sense of what you need to feel with getting the shoulders to initiate the swing now as we get the club up to the top here, you can see the difference with how much that right arm there wants to fly out, creating a lot of disconnectedness with the body as you get to the top. And then from there, really getting that feeling of that over-the-top move there. So now, from this point on, body goes into defense mode of you having to hang back in order to still make good contact with the club to the face of the ball coming through and then we see that high arm finish there again it's a very much of a defensive move there so again if I just show you this view here you can definitely see what I'm talking about about that position again very lifty going back with the club now coming down arms and hands are doing a lot of work there coming across it there and notice at this point here we got a lot of that energy on that back foot so now that body really hangs back and body again goes very much into defense mode. Again, visually, just so you can see here. Once we get that club in that better position up there, we really started to see that club coming down. You can notice here how it's coming right through your head as opposed to where we wanted of coming much more inside. Again, visually using Charles here, you can see coming down where the club starts it's bisecting right here through his right bicep this position here as opposed to where we're seeing it with you coming through your head at this point here again very casty very over the top and now body has to try to recover so you hang back to make sure we get the club back on path so now as we keep going through this here just focusing on some of the drills we worked on In the beginning, just got you the sense of pulling that foot just a little bit back there. If I just show you these rehearsal swings here of getting that good sensation, again, feeling like we're initiating that swing with the shoulders going back. Again, look at the difference there with the position of your arm. This is how we need to feel. If we look at the first one here, you can see the difference with how much that arm's flying out here, and you'd notice here on the right how much this is now staying more tucked this was after doing a lot of work with that ball of getting that sensation now from there it's feeling like the club is coming much more from the inside again I wanted to have these to give you a great visual so you see here on the left with the before and look at the difference here on the right again these are rehearsal swings over exaggerating the sensation but this was after I pulled the barriers up and with you doing that split foot drill there getting that sensation of there club coming more underneath and from this point here is feeling much more of that pressure onto the balls of the feet and letting your body release through finishing much more on your left side it's going to be very important for you to focus on to get that sensation of what we're trying to feel of the club coming more underneath 
and you getting some good extension through the shot. Even there, granted you still held on a little bit, but notice here on the right, you could see much more how your weight is finishing on that front foot. So these are just some of the ones that I filmed yesterday. Again, this was to really over-exaggerate that sensation of putting that stick down there with your left heel up against it and then your right toe on the other side, of really over-exaggerating that feeling of Oops, sorry about that there. But as we get the club up to the top there again, feeling the arms staying a little bit more tighter in. Now as you come down, you can see the difference there as to where the club wants to come into the angle of attack into the golf ball. And then we can really start seeing the comfort you're going to have of wanting to release the ball coming through. So again, just getting that good sensation, splitting that splitting that drill there with the feet getting that sense of the club working up staying much more tight and compact there see now your weight is already starting to move towards more of the ball of the foot and now as you start down look at the difference there with the weight shift now going towards that left side and the club coming in more shallow so you're going to get a much better hit on the golf ball. Like I told you, especially with this drill, you're going to see a lot more draws than you will anything. But these are going to be very important for you to focus on. Again, getting the sensation of initiating the swing with the shoulders. Club up to the top, feeling that ball in between the arms. So I still want you focusing on that drill. Imagine if we had that ball in between there. And then from that point really feeling the weight going forward and that club coming in nice and shallow that's what this drill is going to help you do again michelle if you have any questions about anything we did throughout this week feel free to give me a buzz send me an email i am always here to help so again just to give you a little before and after here watch the difference as the club gets up to the top watches the weight shifts so everything kind of stays backwards if anything your weight at this point is going back to your left heel club comes way over the top and then body goes backwards watch the difference here coming into the ball all the momentum now is on that front leg and more towards the ball of the foot so now you can just let everything unwind through and finish much more forward as opposed to here where everything is very defensive and hanging back. Again, if you have any questions about anything, feel free to give me a call, send me an email. I'm always here to help.